Welcome to Honors Geometry 10.7 Equations of Circles. And yes, equations of circles are just a little bit crazy, but it's actually a really short section. So here we go. Let's do some exploring. Alright, we got a circle uh, drawn on a Cartesian plane. And what's the radius? Here's the center, right at the origin. Here's the radius. How long is that radius? Five, right? All right, I want you to look at uh, what are the coordinates of that point? Five, zero. How about the coordinates of this point right here? That would be four, three. And the coordinates of this point right here? Three, four. And the coordinates of this point? Negative three, four. And the coordinates of this point? Negative four, three. And of course, that point negative five zero and I can find the other points here I don't think I'm gonna take the time right now I'll, well I'm gonna say them. I'm not gonna write them uh, negative uh, four negative three negative three negative four three negative four and four negative three and the, what I wanted you to do about that is look at what happens when you square these two numbers the x and y values together. What's 5 squared? Uh, 5 squared is 25 and 0 squared is 0. Add those two together you get 25. Okay, 4 squared plus 3 squared that would be 16 plus 9 yeah, that's 25. Uh, this is 9 plus 16 Hey, that's 25. Okay, negative 3 squared. Negative 3 times negative 3 is 9 plus 16. Hey, when you square both the x and the y terms and add them together, you're going to get 25. Hey, what's the radius squared? 25. All right, let's see if this works all the time. Let's, uh, no, that one won't work. All right. Let's make the radius bigger. All right, I'm going to make the radius bigger. Hold on. All right, now I have a uh, circle with a radius of 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. That point right there is 6, 8. Okay, square 6. Square 8, 36 and 64, that's 100. Hey, what's 10 squared? 100. So if you take the x term and the y term, square those things, it'll equal the radius squared. All right, guess what? The equation of a circle with the center at the origin is x squared plus y squared equals r squared. That's the equation of a circle. You're not going to put in uh, any any numbers for x and y. That's just going to be the variables. And if they tell you the radius is like 16, then the equation of the circle is going to be x squared plus y squared equals 256 because 16 squared. If they tell you the diameter is 8, the equation of the circle is going to be x squared plus y squared equals 16 because if the diameter is 8 the radius is 4 4 squared is 16 if they tell you that the radius is 1.5 then the equation of the circle x squared plus y squared equals 2.25 okay that's how you find the area of a circle with the center at the origin all right how about if the center is not at the origin? Okay, center is at 4, 2. 
one, two, three, four, two. Now I'm going to teach you how to graph a circle. And the radius is three, so we're going to go east, west, north, and south, three. And then you're just going to try to draw a nice little curvy. To make a circle. Yes, and if you don't do any better than that, that's okay. So center at negative one three with a radius of two. East, west, north, south, two. And then go ahead and draw your little curvy. And that's how you draw a graph. circle and the green one <coughs> negative four one two three four negative two right there's the center uh, radius is six right there oh I'm gonna have lots of fun trying to draw this one one two three four five six one two three four five six one, two, three, four, five, six. This is not going to be fun. I'm trying to draw, draw a nice curve from that far away. You should see trying to draw on this slate. It is not fun at all. And you know what? Part of the problem is, is the slower I draw, the worse it is. Draw faster, do a little better. All right. Well, I expect yours not to be a whole lot better than that, so that's what's going to happen. All right. The equation of a circle with center hk, those are going to be two numbers, is x minus h plus y minus k, quantity squared, equals r squared. So if the center, yeah, let's see here, if they tell you the center is 8, 4 and the radius is 5 you're going to write x minus 8 quantity squared plus y minus 4 quantity squared equals 25 okay if the center is negative 2, 3, and the radius, well, and the radius is 5, you're going to say that uh, the equation is x plus 2, because that's subtracting a negative 2, quantity squared, plus y minus 3, quantity squared equals 5. All right, no, sorry, 25. How about if I give you the equation of a circle and you tell me where the center is and where the radius is? Ready? x plus 1, quantity squared, plus y plus 5, quantity squared equals 9. Okay? Where is the center at? You're going to look at uh, this and take the opposite sign, so negative 1 for the x value and negative 5 for the y value and the radius is the square root of 9. So the radius is 3. Alright, there will be m stuff more involved in your homework, but it won't be any more difficult than that. This will conclude uh, Lesson 10.7, Outer Geometry, Equations of Circles.